Hi everyone, this is Mike at Brash Monkey, and this quick tip tutorial is going to show you how to customize the actual images used to create your character in the RPG Heroes pack. And this same methodology would apply to custom art and animations that you create, especially when you, you want to use the custom color editing features. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm using the Essentials version of the uh, RPG Heroes pack, which is free with the purchase of Spriter Pro. As you can see, I've created this customized character by using Spriter's character map feature, and by changing which character maps are active, uh, I've selected this particular style of armor, headgear, facial hair, and so on. And I can use this little color palette feature with this particular art pack and choose different color palettes to change the coloring of different things. For example, if I go into clothing base, we can change the main color of the armor to suit our tastes. But as you can see, when I change the main color of the clothing, the color of the boots change with it, as well as the gauntlets and the helmet and so on. Let's say for some reason you don't want the, co the character so color coordinated. Let's say you want the boots to not change color along with the rest of the armor. Uh, to do that, you'd have to have to edit the actual images that Spriter is using for the legs so that the actual colors for the boots are not using the same color indexes that are used for the rest of the, um, the armor on the body. Now I'm going to be showing you how to alter images or the art pack itself. So keep in mind, whenever you're going to make changes to an art pack, you should always make sure that you have an unaltered backup version somewhere safe on your uh, in your storage so you can always go back to the original files if you ever need to. So to do that you're going to need to go into the actual folder uh, in your art pack. So for example I had loaded up uh, RPG pack 128 mail. So I would need to find l the leg images so I'm going to start with right leg and then we can start with the front leg, it's the easiest thing to recognize. So I'll grab uh, leg front 7 underscore 1. So basically you look for the images that um, are used to create that particular character style that you're using. So if we look back in my character maps list, cancel that out, turn back to the gray color I was using before, you'll see that it's called um, legs seven. So that was a clue in this case as to the uh, naming of the images. You can see it's leg front seven. So basically all of the leg images that have the number seven right after the word either front or back or side are the images you need to change. And of course you can just tell by looking at the images themselves that those are the right images to change. And then you would need to load those images into a graphics or painting program. Um, the most important thing to keep in mind, if you want the color swapping system to still work in Spriter, you need to make sure you're using a, um, an image editing software that uh, works well with what's called pixel art or indexed color images. I highly recommend ProMotion NG by Cosmigo. I'll have a link to it in the uh, video description. So the really important thing to keep in mind with images that are in indexed color mode is you can't just have any pixel in your image any color you want. All of your pixels in your image have to use one of the colors in what's called the color palette, which is here. Um, so as you can see, all of the colors for the boot here uh, is this range of few colors. So all of the colors that default is purple that change in the Spriter file when you change the uh, base uh, clothing color, they're all using these same four colors in the palette. So if you do not want these boot colors to change with um, the rest of the character when you change those colors in Spriter, what you're going to need to do is make these uh, colors in the boot use different color indices. And the way to do that is to use some different spots for colors. And any of the black ones from here down are not used. So what we can do is create a new range from light to dark to stay organized to match what's going on here. 
we can create a new range of colors. So we'll start there and then make our darker orange like so. And then I'll just create a gradient. There we go. And now what we're going to need to do is use a flood fill tool to replace all of these boot colors with the um, appropriate orange color. We'll start with this darkest color. We'll pick the darkest orange and we will flood fill that and then do the same thing with each of the uh, other purple colors. And there's that. And then once you're done with that, you can decide if you also want to change the uh, what's currently the uh, the gold accenting on the boot as well. In this case, we'll just assume we want to leave that the same. But now we have a boot that's a different uh, set of colors. So I'll just save that. And then we'll reload the images in Spriter. And you'll see the orange boot has now appeared. But as you can see, we've only done that for one image. So we're going to need to do that for the other two leg images on this side. So I'm going to find the other images. And here are the other two front facing leg seven images. So I'm going to load them into ProMotion in my case. There we go. And I need to get this palette with the new orange boot colors copied across to the other and whatever method you need to use is going to be different depending on what art program you use but in my case I just grab a little piece of the image that has that uh, those boot colors in it then I go to the other image that I'm that I need to edit and I choose colors get palette from brush and that's going to import the uh, the palette including the new orange colors in there and I'm going to use the same flood fill trick save that image and then move on to the next colors, get palette from brush and save that image. So now if we go back into Spriter and reload the images, now you'll see that entire side is done. And the cool thing is the um, the images for the opposite leg are the exact same images. So instead of having to completely edit from scratch the left leg images as well, you can simply copy the ones you've already edited in the right leg folder and paste them into the left leg folder. So now that that's done, I'm going to reload the images in Spriter again. And now you can see that the boots are now done. So now that that's done, you'll see if we go into the palette options in this uh, RPG Heroes art pack and I pick new colors for the clothing base, you'll see that all of the colors change in the uh, the main part of the, uh, the armor, but the boots, the orange color no longer change, which is great. But obviously, what if you want to be able to pick new colors for the boots separately? You can actually create your own palette files for your own custom color changing. There's already a full length tutorial video for that, which I'll link to in the description. But briefly, I'll show you how to do that here in the, this specific circumstance. Okay, so I'm going to cancel out of this. I'm going to find my um, art pack folder and go back into the main folder and look for the palettes folder. And now I'm going to create a new subfolder in that folder. And you can name this whatever makes sense. I'm going to call it Alt Boots. So now what we're going to do, if you look in any of these, you'll see that I had created images for the art pack palette files that are 32 by 32 pixels. They can be any size you want, but that's very convenient for a clean user interface in Spriter. And um, as you can see here, all the palette images I use have these colors the same. These are never altered. It's just black, a medium gray, and white. This is used for the whites of the eyes and the teeth. 
uh, and black outline in all of the uh, the illustration work for the art pack. And then every other color is this what we call programmer pink, which is an RGB value of 255.0255. That's really important except for the colors that you are affecting with this palette file. So what that means is I need to create a special image for the alternate boots. So uh, I won't do a pretty job of this, but I picked the black color that's never changed and I'm just quickly filling this in. And now I'm going to erase and just make this look a little bit like a boot by carefully erasing. There we go. Close enough, and if we want, we can even add some details. Maybe a buckle or something. Kind of looks like a pilgrim boot now. Maybe some buttons. And then the important thing, once you have your overall boot shape. So I need to be using those exact colors, so I'm just going to copy this palette again. Colors, get palette from brush. So now I can safely color in my boot. And uh, we'll just add a white highlight here to this. And that's good enough. It's a little fat on the uh, leg portion, but you get the idea. So you would create a boot image that only uses this white, gray, and black color. And then only the colors that you actually want affected. And if you recall, the rest of these have to be made into that programmer pink, which is 255.0.255. This is going to be different depending on which graphic program you're using. But basically, you just need to make all of these indices um, that same programmer pink, except for these indices for the boot color, and again for these colors, which never change. So I'm just going to do that the way I would here. So I'm going to save this. And we're going to go back one, and we're going to go into Alt Boots. And Boots. We'll call it alt and call this whatever you want alt boots underscore zero so now i can make an assortment of these images uh, with different color palettes so let's say for example we want some blue boots i can just go into the uh, color editing mode here and change oops i'm changing the wrong color sorry about that put this back to transparent so I can just go into color editing mode and change these colors and I can make some quickly make some blue boot a blue boot palette okay now I'm going to use the ramp technique like so and like that so now we have a dark blue uh, boot palette. So I'm going to save that. Save image as. And so on. So you could do this to create a uh, huge assortment of different palettes for your new custom boots that are no longer slaves to the um, to the colors of the rest of the character. And um, so I'm going to uh, reload the images. All right, and now if I go into the palette section, you'll see the alt boots, boots folder, and now I can make those boots blue. Now keep in mind, for this example, even though it looked like we were only changing colors, we were actually changing pixels in the images to use new colors. So what that means is this isn't just for changing colors. You can completely edit these images as you see fit. For example, if you wanted a version of these boots that did not have these um, these details on it here, these gold details, then you could easily just edit those right out, making sure you're using only those boot colors. 
There you go. So any way you want to edit these details, for instance, we could extend the pants down and make them sort of billow over the top edge of the boot. So we're sort of drastically changing the, um, the style of the boot and the pants. So that would be something like this. And then I'll cast a highlight on the edge there. There we go. Something along those lines. So uh, you could do, and I'll just save this as a quick example. And then go back into Spriter. And of course it's going to be blue once it's done loading. But as you can see there, now we have a very different look for the uh, the leg on this side. That, and then when we're done with all of the images, we would just copy the changed images into the left leg folder as well. And that's how you can custom uh, edit your images for the RPG Heroes art pack. Thanks for watching.